African elephants are the biggest land creatures on Earth. They are marginally bigger than their Asian cousins and can be distinguished by their bigger ears that look fairly like the landmass of Africa. Asian elephants have more modest, adjusted ears. African elephants are a cornerstone animal groups, which means they assume a basic part in their environment. Otherwise called biological system engineers, elephants shape their living space from numerous points of view. During the dry season, they go through their tusks to burrow dry riverbeds and make watering openings numerous creatures can drink from. Their excrement is loaded with seeds, assisting plants with spreading across the climate and it makes very great environment for fertilizer scarabs as well. In the woodland, their devouring trees and bushes makes pathways for more modest creatures to travel through, and in the savanna, they remove trees and eat saplings, which helps keep the scene open for zebras and different fields creatures to flourish. African elephants are now and then classified into savanna elephants and woods elephants. There are some physical and hereditary contrasts. However researchers are as yet contending about whether the distinctions are sufficiently large to call them separate species. Right now, most actually think of them as same species, Loxodonta africana. Africana. Elephant ears emanate warmth to help keep these enormous creatures cool, yet once in a while the African warmth is excessively. Elephants are enamored with water and appreciate showering by sucking water into their trunks and splashing everything over themselves. Subsequently, they frequently splash their skin with a defensive covering of residue. An elephant's trunk is really a long nose utilized for smelling, breathing, trumpeting, drinking, and furthermore for snatching things particularly an expected supper. The storage compartment alone contains around 40,000 muscles. African elephants have two finger-like highlights on the finish of their trunk that they can use to snatch little things. Asian elephants have only one. Both male and female African elephants have tusks, which are ceaselessly developing teeth. They utilize these tusks to burrow for food and water and strip bark from trees. Guys, whose tusks will in general be bigger than females, additionally utilize their tusks to fight each other. Elephants eat roots, grasses, natural product, and bark, and they eat a ton of these things. A grown-up elephant can devour as much as 300 pounds of food in a solitary day. These eager creatures don't rest a lot and they meander over huge spans while scrounging for the huge amounts of food that they need to support their monstrous bodies. African elephants range all through the savannas of sub-Saharan Africa and the Rhine forests of Focal and West Africa. The landmass northernmost elephants are found in Sahel region of Mali. The little, traveling group of Mali elephants moves in a roundabout course through the desert looking for water. Since elephants eat so a lot, they're progressively coming into contact with people. An elephant can annihilate a whole period of harvests in a solitary evening an enormous hit to a rancher, who might need to fight back. There are various preservation programs working with ranchers to assist them with securing their harvests. Elephants are shrewd to the point that they can figure out how to get around electric fences rapidly and give remuneration when an elephant strikes them. Elephants are matriarchal, meaning they live in female-led groups. The matriarch is usually the biggest and oldest. She presides over a multi-generational herd that includes other females, called cows, and their young. Adult males, called bulls, tend to roam on their own, 
sometimes forming smaller, more loosely associated all-male groups. Having a baby elephant is a serious commitment. Elephants have a longer pregnancy than any other mammal almost 22 months. Cows usually give birth to one calf every two to four years. At birth, elephants already weigh some 200 pounds and stand about three feet tall. Poaching for the ivory exchange is the greatest danger to African elephants' endurance. Before the Europeans started colonizing Africa, there may have been just about as numerous as 26 million. The appearance of Europeans commenced the business ivory pattern, in which tusks were utilized for piano keys, billiards balls, brushes, and a wide range of different things. By the mid-20th century, elephant numbers had dropped to 10 million. Chasing kept on expanding. By 1970, their numbers were down to 1.3 million. Somewhere in the range of 1970 and 1990, chasing and poaching put the African elephant in danger of annihilation, diminishing its populace by another half. Today, the International Union for Conservation of Nature records them as powerless against eradication. As not many as 400,000 remain today. Since poachers target elephants for their tusks, these long periods of savagery have additionally had an anticipating result, African elephants are advancing to get tuskless. Studies across the landmass have indicated that areas with generally more elevated levels of poaching presently have higher than regular extents of tuskless females. Scientists are as yet attempting to sort out what this development could mean for the species in the long haul. In spite of the fact that the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, CITES, restricted the worldwide business ivory exchange 1989, the unlawful tusk exchange stays solid, and poaching proceeds across the landmass. In 2016, the Great Elephant Census uncovered that savanna elephant numbers were declining at a pace of 8% or 27,000 elephants every year. Intensifying the issue is the way long it takes for elephants to replicate. With generation rates drifting around 5-6%, to 6 there are basically insufficient calves being destined to compensate for the misfortunes from poaching. African elephants are additionally losing their territory as the human populace develops and individuals convert land for horticulture and improvement. Elephants need a great deal of space to wander, so territory obliteration and fracture not just makes it harder for them to discover food, water, and one another, however it additionally places them in expanded clash with people a hazardous possibility for both. African elephants are secured to differing degrees on the whole the nations of their geographic reach. They're additionally secured under worldwide natural arrangements, sites and the Convention on the Conservation of Migratory Species. There have been late endeavors to bring reauthorize the worldwide exchange ivory, yet those so far have fizzled. Preservation gatherings and governments have attempted to save land for natural life including passages that associate those secured lands. All things considered, specialists accept that up to 70% of elephants' reach is on unprotected land. To control poaching, halting the illicit exchange is vital. Promoters have dispatched crusades that address both the stockpile side, poaching, and the interest side, individuals who purchase ivory. There have been a few forward leaps as of late, particularly on the interest side. In 2015, China accepted to be the world's greatest illicit and lawful ivory market consented to a close total restriction on the homegrown exchange of ivory. Since the boycott went live, public interest for ivory appears to have fallen. On the stock side, 
shielding elephants from poaching likewise requires a nearby methodology. In 2019, an examination demonstrated that the enduring of elephants is attached to that of the people living close by. Regions with significant degrees of neediness and debasement are bound to have higher poaching rates. This recommends that assisting networks with creating maintainable livelihoods could decrease the bait of poaching. More grounded law requirement and diminishing defilement are additionally significant.